Welcome to the Potter Blog site, April 11, 2014. Uh, based on testimony in front of the United States Congress on April 8th, the Department of Defense has issued these JB AIDS biowarfare hemorrhagic fever detectors, Ebola detectors, if you will, to National Guard units in all 50 states. So um, pay very close attention if you see this unit in use in the field somewhere, in a clinic or a hospital. This is an extreme early warning indicator that uh, something significant and serious is occurring. So let's give you some of the details here on, uh, on what we know. Um, basically, let's show you the link. This is the, uh, the document uh, from the uh, House Representatives. It's, from, uh, it's a statement by Carmen J. Spencer, Joint Program Executive Officer for Chemical and Biological Defense. It was given uh, before the House Armed Services Committee, Subcommittee on Intelligence and Emerging, Th Emerging Threats and Capabilities on April 8th, 2014. We have a link to this, all the pages in it. Uh, basically, we excerpt some uh, key statements. Uh, basically, it says here, uh, collaboration between the U.S. Army and FDA. Uh, facilitated the availability of viral hemorrhagic fever diagnostic assays for use during a declared emergency and adds previously unavailable preparedness activity to this fielded system. That goes on to display later how it's been fielded. It says to address the need for a near-term capability to combat emerging threat materials we have already provided domestic response capability kits to National Guard weapons of mass destruction, civil support teams resident in all 50 states. These kits provide emergency, eh, sorry, provide emerging threat mitigation capability that includes detection, personnel, protection, and decontamination. Now it is unclear how real or imminent the threat may be, but it is clear that there's been a massive surge of governmental spending and preparedness which has occurred since hemorrhagic H7N9 bird flu came on the scene in 2013 and that those preparedness activities are accelerating as Ebola has started to gain momentum in Africa. And we have multiple links about that in our source links below. Uh, now there are multiple vi vignettes one could put forth for these activities governmental activities ranging from simple, wasteful governmental defense spending, medical spending, uh, to an airborne mutated Ebola, or it could be that they're expecting a biological first strike and prelude to uh, World War III. Uh, the preparations seem to lean towards the latter. You know, it'd be easy to cover up some of these biological first strikes in what's happening in the world right now biologically. But rather than worry about the situation, the best course of action is to be aware of the unusual military equipment which would be utilized in a defense situation. As such, as such information will provide leading edge risk mitigation actionable information to threats that may result in mass panic or mass quarantine. Now that's the key, is if you spot some of these materials or equipment in use, that's your sign that something serious is either suspected of being wrong or is going wrong and that uh, you should expect significant activity to take place, uh, governmental actions to take place in the very short term. And having that information before everybody else does uh, can provide you with some uh, capability to make immediate preparations or take uh, risk mitigation actions. Now, pay special attention to this JB AIDS device. This is the Joint Biological Agent Identification and Diagnostic System. Uh, this is what it looks like. This is the device here. The key thing to note is this uh, vent system here, this cover. If you see this sitting in a clinic somewhere, you know, a healthcare clinic, urgent care center, or a hospital, this is stuff only carried by the military and it's for use in these very specific situations. So if you see this in use, then you know something is significantly wrong because this is not equipment that one would expect to find normally in a hospital. Now, that equipment is carried often in one of the two vehicles I'm going to show you. 
this is a Humvee Joint Biological Point Detection System. Uh, the key things to notice are the air samplers on top here. So this is the type of uh, Humvee one it would expect would be driving around an area where they're trying to detect the source of something. Uh, there's another version here too and again you can spot the uh, this one's typically I believe used more for uh, for uh, uh, chemical warfare but it also does biological detections again you spot the vents or the air samplers above so if you see one of these two things driving around your neighborhood something's up biologically if you see this device in use then there is serious trouble afoot and again we have all the source documents here it, you, know, you should read through these because it's, a, it's amazing what, what the government is prepping for right now. Just um, utterly amazing.